yeah, I really wanted like a guiding male figure that was comforting. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's what I wanted most. You yeah. Know? Do you feel like? Do you feel like that? Is that why you like got? I know like it was for the obviously obviously to make money too and quick cash. But like, mm -hmm. do you feel like getting into dancing and everything like that was played? Yeah, a, I think played a role in that. I too? think psychologically, yeah. Because it was mm -hmm. just like, because I wasn't getting the attention at all, not even from a sexual way, but mm -hmm, like, you mm -hmm. know, just like male, just like platonic. You yeah. Know, just... Because, you know, like when your dad looks at you, like mm -hmm. he gives you your full attention, yeah, you know, yeah, and, and totally he was did. feeding that. Mm -hmm. So you didn't feel like psychologically you were missing You're something. Right. You're okay. So right. like mm -hmm. for me, never had that. First, I was like. Fuck you, mom. I don't mm -hmm. give a shit. I, and then second of all, my attitude was like, I got to fucking make money mm -hmm. to live. You mm -hmm. know, because mm -hmm. I don't, if I don't make money, then I'm just, that's it. Yeah. You know? And then third of all, it was like, yeah, like, I I do command attention. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? When I'm up there or something. And then um, I guess, yeah, like also like the sugar daddy mentality and like, you know, someone older giving you money taking and stuff like taking you. care of you and stuff like that. It's and nice. it was like all appealing. But mm -hmm. then, cause no one talks about this shit. Mm -hmm. You don't learn the negatives until you get in that shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Until it's too late. Mm -hmm. And you're like, what, um, what do I, what do I have to pay in return for this, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's not gonna always be like fun mm -hmm. and like, you know, there there are the times where it's just like, uh, you're like, oh fuck, this is happening, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like someone's like fucking you, and and then like if it's not even out of the, they're like, oh, two more hours, two more hours, you stay for two more hours, and you know, you just have to deal with it. Sometimes you're just like, oh, I don't, I want to fucking leave, you know, and mm -hmm. you and you and you can't. Mm -hmm. You know, so like, yeah, I think everything kind of, they do say like uh, girls with daddy issues tend to go into stripping and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. escorting. And it's true. Like it happened to me. Yeah. I mean, I didn't want to like, happen to me. Like, is that true or not? But yeah, like, no, is it, no. But it's like, there must be a reason why you, that's. Um, I want you to say it, you know, yeah. like this, this podcast is about saying all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's important for people to, to, to be, to, as, as a, as like a humankind to to move forward, mm -hmm. I think we need to talk about all the hard shit. Yeah, like this. Yeah, you know, and it, it's it's because I mean, I'm sure you're definitely not the only one that's had you know just a single mom raising them mm -hmm. or like you know maybe there is a girl out there listening and thinking oh maybe like there's this is my only option and like you know like, mm -hmm. and the money sounds good and like I want to get into it mm -hmm. like. And there's, you know, there's whatever reason that there is, but, like, you've been through it. You have experience. Yeah. So you can at least express to them, like, you know, hey, the money is good, mm -hmm. but this is, here are the cons. And this is someone yeah. that's living through it. And I'm not yeah. saying, like, how to live your life, mm -hmm. but this is, you know, as someone that's coming through it, like, you know, you, you everyone's going to make their own mistakes. Mm -hmm. Like, everyone's going to make, but, but if I see something that I could potentially pre prevent from someone making the same mistake mm -hmm. just by telling them my experience mm -hmm. and like how it feels and the pros and cons mm -hmm. or whatever, like whatever they can learn from it, mm -hmm. then, you know, that's what we're here for, right? It's just uh, to, be, to be honest. And yeah, like to be a community where we can, yeah, we talk about a lot of funny shit and that's yeah. what we are, you know, mm -hmm. but at the same time, we're Mooncake Sisters. And we, we like <laughs> yes. to, you know, we like to share the um, share the knowledge with other people, so you you guys can make a decision of your own whether you you uh, take our whatever we say, you know, and, and think about it, you know, and put it part as as your knowledge and things and making decisions. That's all I ask for is that, yeah. you know, you hear the whole story before you jump into something. Exactly. I mean, like, there's nice, no other stripper will probably tell you this. Or maybe they, they have, but I don't hear it very often. Mm -hmm. When you're stripping, yeah, it might you might look like the cool girl. You know, you're all dressed up. You're in, like, six-inch heels. You know, guys are worshiping and stuff. But there's so many times where I'm just like, I've, like, I've been jizzed on. 
Like, <laughs> oh. Okay. Have you ever heard of that, Debbie? Uh, I, uh, Have you ever heard of that? Have you ever heard, I've never anyone... heard anyone say that? But it makes sense. It makes sense, right? That, that would happen. Yeah. So you're like giving dances like in a disgusting. I mean, even if it's the fucking spearmint rhino in Las Vegas, or it's fucking, you know, where did I also work at something? The other one, uh, Deja Vu or something. I forgot. Mm-hmm. I, I like worked there for like three or four years, and I even forgot the name of it's it. It's a blur now. It's, it's all, all a blur. Okay, so. So, like, even any of those, they, yeah, you'll get jizzed on, girl, and you're just like, or guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you'll you'll be giving dance and stuff, and then all of a sudden you're just like, you feel like slimy shit oh. on you, and you're like, what the fuck? And then it's like in your swimsuit or whatever lingerie you're wearing, oh. you're just like, fuck. Is there is there dick out? Is that why? Or is no. there, it goes to their pants? Like it goes to their clothing? Is that because because it's like so much stimu- like like visual stimulation mm-hmm. and then like also I'm like you are like rubbing up, oh, you know? Oh yeah. So like you get jizzed on. Like sometimes they're wearing like different kind of material mm, pants, you know, maybe okay. wearing basketball shorts oh, or something. Oh, got it. And, yes. like, you know they're fucking hard and stuff, mm. and, but you're just still dancing because, you you know, that's yeah. what your job is. And, yes. so, and, like, yeah, you'll, like, give them a lap dance and then they'll jizz on you. Yeah. You gotta go change. Yeah, you're just like, fuck. You know, like, sometimes you can you can be, like, Oh, yeah, just, like, fucking give me, like, I was like, this is fucking gross. Like, give me, like, 40 more bucks or something mm-hmm, like that. Mm-hmm. You know, you can, like, demand that and stuff yeah. like that. You know, but if it's, like, a regular, mm. then and the, you know that they come all the time and they spend money on you, like, mm. what can you do? Uh, you're right. So, people. Just so you know. Just so you know. <laughs> yeah, it's gross and stuff, but that's, I mean, it it's happens. part of it, yeah. Happens to every stripper. Like, I don't give yeah. a shit. Like, I know, like, just recently I heard Cardi B. She was just <laughs> like, I love being a stripper. I'm like, I don't know. I feel like maybe, like, like good on you that you love stripping. But, like, I don't see you stripping anymore. Yeah. You loved it because you're not, you don't have to do it mm. anymore. You know mm-hmm, what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, so, like, I know maybe as a young individual, if I heard Cardi B when I was younger, I would be like, oh, yeah stripper she said it's great yeah <laughs> yeah for a young like mind like yeah. that so it it is kind of tough like hey if you still want to go in the nitty-gritty and you want to go through the adventure like go for it yeah but just know it's not going to be pretty no no it's not going to be pretty all the time like there are times where it was awesome i was making all this cash and it was just like it was an adrenaline rush yeah but like every other job, there's ups and downs mm-hmm. and like there's all this shit in between. The politics. You know, oh, yeah. Yeah, the politics of it. You know, you might get drunk. Mm-hmm. You know, you might get drunk and then just forget that you like you just pass out somewhere. Oh. And then like someone takes all your money. Like that can be- I remember this one girl. Like she didn't really have nice skin, but mm-hmm. she had like a beautiful figure and stuff. Mm-hmm. But I passed out in uh, Deja Vu or something like that in Las Vegas, in the in the um, women in the stripper locker and stuff. I like passed out, and <laughs> I guess I fell asleep for like six hours or something oh like that. Oh my gosh! And I had like all my money. All the girls have like clutches. You have clutches where mm-hmm. you keep all your money. And she, I remember, I think she was like Boruinka or something. I, like, is it, Bariqua? Bo, Boruinka. I can't see it. Bariqua? Uh-huh. Bariqua? Yeah. I yeah, so. I think she was Bariqua. You know, like light skin, like like uh, Latin, like island or kind of type. And she was like, you know, girl, like you just fell asleep, but I couldn't fucking take all your money, but I did it. Oh. She was like, get your shit straight. And I was oh. like, fuck. I was like, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, woman. Thank you. Kind stripper woman. <gasps> Thank you, oh, girl. Thank <laughs> you for not taking my money. Oh, you know. Gosh. Yeah. Jeez, Liz. It's crazy. You can also get into fights too. I've seen stripper fights. I mean, I avoided it at all costs. But mm-hmm. like, yeah. Well, what does the fights usually be about? Is it usually about the same thing, or is it someone uh, took their money? Someone took their client. Take their client. You know, like maybe someone like stole money mm. or like 
It could be anything, or like you just looked at them the wrong way, mm. you got in their way, you wouldn't move out of the way. Got it. Bye. Bye.